Tim Stanley with Blackout Easy. I'm here at Cherry Hill Captain Brown up here. It's December 24th, uh, Christmas Eve. I'm up here uh, visiting the family. So pulled in last night and um, turned the water on outside. And what happened was the toilet was running as if the pedal was being held down. So went out there and turned the water off. I had this problem last time I came here about two weeks ago. Did the same thing, and what I found out was um, these toilets have a, uh, a vacuum vacuum bricker kit on the back, and this kit is right here in the back, and I'll take this off and show you. But anyway, so when I left last time, and when I pulled it up here the last time, I had winterized it. So I'm believing that the um, antifreeze solution is causing that valve to stick, and it, this is an anti-siphon backflow preventer. So, um, you know, if it backflows, it, it won't go into your portable water or your clean water supply. So it's kind of protection. So basically when you push down the foot pedal, it drops a breaker right here, uh, breaks the vacuum suction and allows the water to flow. So this vial was up here sticking. I'll show you that. Last week or the two weeks ago when I was up here, all I did was push the plunger down, was able to get it to work. But this time last night, I actually broke it. I pushed it too hard and broke it. So I'm gonna show you an easy fix for that. Now this part is kind of expensive, it was a $47, but luckily they had it at the camp store up here um, and I was able to buy it. So now I'm gonna go and show you how to, how to repair it and what to look for. So if your toilet, you turn the water supply on, your toilet keeps running uh, as if someone's holding the pedal down, it could be your uh, vacuum breaker switch need to be replaced or if you have leaking at the back of your, uh, back of your toilet. So. What you got to do is, and here's my trusty dusty tools. I got a, a Phillips head, I got a, um, a flat head, and I got uh, something to break the clamp on the back. And you see that when I take that off. It's got a little clamp. A uh, guy at work calls this the plus, <laughs> and he calls this the minus. So uh, I got, a, I got a, a minus and a plus or Phillips head, and that's why you see that. So he calls it a plus and calls that a minus. So it's kind of pretty funny. But anyway, that's all you need. I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, caps off right here, and that'll expose the uh, little plastic clips right there. All right. No, this is a Dometic um, vacuum breaker kit, and so it fits all the different models. So now so I'll take it out, but some of these have a shower head that comes off, and you mount right here, so you can, I guess, wash out the bowl. Um, th this one model don't have it. Now I could buy that breaker switch and add it to it, but uh, that's just unnecessary. So make sure when you buy it, you make sure you don't get one with the spray head on it, because then you, you got to cap that off, okay? So um, so I'm gonna take that off. And then once I take this cap off, you better see the breaker switch down in there. So that comes off pretty easy. So kind of keep all my parts together on the floor and it just kind of lifts off. And that's that uh, vacuum switch right there, okay? So that's what this is right here. And we're gonna kind of pop this open. And that's what it looks like. So one goes in, can you see here? If you come out, you gotta, where it fits into the toilet that makes the water flow around the bowl. And then it has a, uh, this, leads down to the water supply on the side. And you see that plunger in there? That's what gets stuck. And I pushed it down, evidently must have pushed it too hard and actually broke this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. Well, like I said, it's easy fix, you know, but the price is, it was like close to 50 bucks. So anyway, I'll put this up here. Now, I told you some have uh, a shower nozzle. You can put it right here. So it's gonna have a, an extra smaller barb coming off here. Make sure you buy the one correct one but if not, um, you're going to have a problem because water will shoot out if you don't have that set up. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do, it has a uh, clamp on here. If you can see down there, it's a clamp that you have to take off. So, I'm going to cut that clamp off. I'm going to move this out the way, this toilet seat. I guess I'm going to put it right there. So, I'm going to take cut that clamp off. It's got me some pliers here to do that. So, I'm gonna see if I can get a good way to cut that clamp. I can't really see it but that's that's gonna be the hard part trying to get to that little clamp cut that off it's hard to see it so anyway I'm gonna try to get this out of there take that 
Okay. So you see how I uh, kind of took it out? That's that rubber grommet. That's that clamp. I told you it was kind of hard. So that's what it looks like. And you see it's a direct replacement. See that? Okay. So what I'm going to do, I tried to cut it off uh, without take, pulling it out. But I had to pull it out anyway. So I'm going to just go ahead and... Ooh. So I thought these clamps be big enough, but it's not. So... Break it off. So I thought I better cut it off. The clamp's not big enough. So I just kind of twist it off and kind of broke it. So we got some water down there. So got the paper tiles. Kind of went down in the vent and I can just get that out later. Take that off of there. I'm gonna get that piece of metal put in in the trash so I'm gonna get on someone's foot. Now I can get that clamp off of there. The rest of that clamp. So take that off of there. And the ones that come with the uh with the kit is just a uh, old-fashioned hose clamp. So it comes with a rubber grommet, a new one, and it has two of these hose clamps, and all we need is one. All right, so now we got the old part out. Just kind of pull that out, it's a barb. All right, got that old one out and get that water up so it won't go down to the vent. And all I gotta do is, you see some water down there, all I gotta do is take those screws out and get it out. So you wanna be careful too that you don't damage your hose. And you see the pink down here? where I had it, uh, the uh, antifreeze in there. So I'm thinking that that antifreeze actually kind of is uh, kind of dunking up that, uh, that little valve in there. So you know what, I'm gonna just, so just take a screwdriver, pop that out like that. Now that's the inlet that comes in there and swooshes the water in there so it cleans that bowl out or flushes the toilet. So um, that's the old one, this is the new one. Just kind of make sure they look alike, which they do. All right. Same part number, three, three, four, six, 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 two. Same part number, so one and a half inch. That makes me feel good. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clean that out a little bit. And it's a new trailer, so it shouldn't be problem but I'm gonna go ahead and clean out a little bit and I'm gonna wet this down a little bit so it can actually slide in there pretty a little easier now the thing about the toilet I wish there was a cutoff valve because I couldn't use any of the water um, because if I turn the water on you know the toilet will overflow so I'm going to punch that back in there I wet it punch that back in there I'm gonna take the new valve and um, take my hose my worm holes, clamp, put it on. I'm gonna put it this way so I can easily, this way, so I can easily get to it and tighten it up. Slide that down there like that. All right, and then I'm gonna tighten the, uh, the worm gear up. So take my screwdriver. So it's, it's an easy fix, and it's one of these things you all, you know, it's uh, New Year's Eve, and you know, it's, it's little simple stuff you can do yourself, and you don't have to be stressed with worrying about a plumber or RV repairman coming out here. But and so you can keep your holiday going, you know. So I don't want to over tighten. I'm kind of tightening stuff down too much. So I don't want to over tighten. If I'm gonna check it out for a few days, see if it's leaking, I can tighten it down some more. So anyway. We got that, we got the new grommet in there, got the water supply, and we just slide that in there. Oh, I should've wet, I'm gonna wet that down too. Put some water on there. Kinda slide it in there a little bit. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna take some soap. A little soap on there. Good. All right. Get 
there we go. So it was in there, got that tightened up. Now, so what I'm gonna do is, now I got that new valve, if you, you can see it down in there. So the last time when I'm, I'm gonna go turn the water pressure on and see what happens, but it was, the toilet kept running. And so I had to turn it off because then I took a plunger, uh, took a plunger and just kind of pushed that down like the first time it happened and it worked, it released itself. But last night it hit it too hard and broke it. So, so right now, just watch it. I'm gonna go turn that water on and hopefully uh, it won't continue to flow. Okay, so now the good thing is the water's not flowing. So I tell you we fixed already, but anyway, so when that was broke, when I turned the water on, it just kept running and running and running in the bowl. So, so everything works. And let me tell you something else. Um, all right, I'm gonna tell you something else. I had a bad valve to begin with, because I'm gonna tell you why. Um, that water shooting out used to be really, really low flow. And I was told my wife, I said, this toilet don't work <laughs> as good as the last one. So that valve I had, the one I took off, this, this, is this one was defective because um, it, it didn't provide that much flow in that toilet. So I'm happy already. Hey, the problem is solved. And also we got better flow washing everything down that toilet. So hey, Tim Stanley, uh, another fix with uh, Blackout Easy. Hey, I'm not a plumbing expert, anything. I'm just like RVing. And when you RVing, stuff is going to happen. So you just got to know little fixes and little hacks. And what I saw was it happened to me twice. So I said, if it's happening to me, it's happening to other people. So something you should know. But easy fix took me about 15 minutes, right? Uh, been quicker if I had some help because you know I got to run outside and all that stuff. So here, here's the valve replace and simple fix. It was about $45. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, even though that one was defective, I'm going to get another one and just keep it in the RV somewhere. So if I had an emergency again, just so happened the camp store here at Cherry Hill had two of them. So I bought one of them. So, so good deal. We back in action, taking showers, hot water back on. So everybody's gonna be happy again. Hey, December 24th, Blackout Easy, RVing with Tim here in Cherry Hill, campground in College Park, Maryland, December 24th. Merry Christmas to everybody and hope you have a happy holidays and good luck to you in 2022.